The former Liberal Democrat leader, Nick Clegg, has been given a standing ovation by delegates to the party conference in Bournemouth. In his first conference speech since he led the Lib Dems to disastrous defeat in, May, in the May general election, he predicted that the party would bounce back to fill a hole in the centre of British politics. Our political correspondent, Michael Crick, was there and joins us now from Bournemouth. Michael. Yes, John. Well, well, this was the day that the Liberal Democrats said they were launching their campaign to keep Britain in the European Union. And to do that, they brought in Mr Clegg, who argued that the forthcoming referendum wasn't just about keeping Britain in Europe, but also about keeping Scotland within the United Kingdom. Not just one, but now two unions hang in the balance. If we vote to leave the European Union, I have no doubt that the SNP will gleefully take the opportunity to persuade or seek to persuade the people of Scotland to leave what remains of the United Kingdom. Now, Mr Clegg was very strong in his praise for his successor, Tim Farron, even though it's widely thought that Mr Clegg didn't vote for Mr Farron, but the alternative uh, in the election, uh, Norman Lamb. And despite the fact uh, that Mr Clegg has declined to serve uh, Mr Farron's tiny Commons front bench team. Also, in the months since May, Nick Clegg has had a very poor voting record at Westminster. He's voted just five times in 73 Commons votes, a point I challenged him on later. <laughs> you voted just you five times out of 73, Mr Clegg. Uh, do, you, what, do you really want to be an MP anymore? You voted just five times out of so 73 since the election. to see you here. So that's 6.8 per cent. Do you actually want to be an MP? I thought I could actually be free of, free of this kind of interview. You and you felt you could be free of voting, did you? Not at all. Isn't that an insult to all the people who helped, helped get you elected? Now, there are many people who think that Nick Clegg would like to stand down as an MP at the 2020 election. Indeed, there are some people who suspect he'd rather like to stand down as an MP well before then. But that, of course, would entail a risky by-election for the Liberal Democrats in his Sheffield Hallam constituency, a by-election they might well lose. And, of course, they can't afford to see their numbers cut yet further from just eight MPs now, possibly, to seven. Michael in front of the famous surf of Bournemouth. Thank you very much indeed.